So a uh, very, very, very good morning to all of you. I woke up today and for 10, 15 minutes, I was feeling really low because today is the last chakra day that we are covering. Tomorrow, of course, at 5 a.m., we have a grand class. Uh, we are going to discover a way to do this chakra meditation every day. I am going to give you free guides to take this practice further. So tomorrow is going to be a grand class. Don't even think of missing that. But I still feel this um, practice. This is the last weekday we are doing this from next week. Uh, I don't know how many of you will be joining us for the Platinum One. How many of you will continue this journey with us. But for the ones who continue, we'll be able to meet. But I'm going to miss sitting in this class every morning and doing this with you. I used to love this and this, this is truly my favorite part of the entire month. We won't be doing a chakra class again in another couple of days, but we won't be doing it in the coming months. So I'm going to miss you a lot. And my throat today is full with emotions and all of this thinking that next week we won't be in this together. Okay. So Mansi, I'll share it tomorrow when we have more time. Today we will have to do a lot of exercises for this. Tomorrow I'll share it. Okay. So to begin with, you know the drill. Turn on your cameras. Show me you have a glass of water. And we are ready to go. How many of you have come all five days? Comment in five if you have come in all five days. Today is the fifth chakra day, no? So you have attended all the five days. So tomorrow we will do a revision as well of all the chakras. I will take in all the doubts that you people might be having. We will cover the whole range tomorrow. Today we have a very cool meditation also going to come up a sound-based meditation. Very excited about today. Gurpreet, Sangeeta, Vidya, Bhavisha, Nimma, Somdat, Prabhu, Deepa. All of you have done five days. Wow, Harsha, Isha, Anju. So very cool today. I will be asking you to Ayushi Padma. I am going to ask you to share what are the changes you feel. So it's going to be great. All right. So welcome to day five, throat or the Vishuddha Chakra. So this is, of course, the name itself tells you it is at your throat. Okay. So if this chakra is blocked for you, you have difficulty speaking yourself out. You have difficulty sharing your tasks in the group. You have difficulty expressing yourself anywhere, everywhere you feel like you are left out. You don't have that clarity. You're not a good listener. Okay. At the same time, if this chakra is overactive, you talk a lot. You talk a lot. You are opinionated. You don't have very good things to talk about. You have heights, uh, you have fights with people. You have, you know, criticize everyone. Your throat, like you say, it's all about communication. This chakra is all about communication. So you have bad or good communication based on if this chakra is balanced or this. Now, if this chakra is perfectly balanced, you become a very good communicator. You have very good confidence skills. You are very creative. You are diplomatic. You can, uh, you can express yourself very well. So many times, many people tell me I'm an introvert. I don't, you know, I can't talk to people in this. So the definition of introvert does not mean somebody who can't talk to people or can't share their opinion. Introvert or extrovert is a word, is a meaning that comes from how comfortable are you with sharing your energy. Introverts can be very good communicators. In fact, some of the best communicators have been introvert in the world. But they don't feel like sharing their energy with a lot of people. Whereas extroverts, they share their energy very well with people and they can, you know, um, be more socially. Okay. So if you are perhaps not being able to speak your truth, perhaps you are holding back your opinion, you feel left out. That means your throat chakra could be blocked. 
it is Vishuddha Chakra. Okay, so more than I want you to see it more than from a perspective of introvert or extrovert, see it from a perspective that maybe there is some blockages inside your body. That is the reason why the throat, uh, why you are not able to talk your out. Okay, so as you can understand that the chakra that is uh, around it is your throat. So any kind of throat diseases, any kind of thyroid related diseases, any kind of physical manifest, uh, any kind of, uh, what do you say, breathing also can be related. Some of it is part of this. Okay. So throat problem, mouth ulcers, laryngitis, thyroid, all of this comes from this chakra. So if you work on it good enough, work on it well enough, you will see a lot of changes coming up to you. Okay, singing, yeah, people with their throat chakra balance are, they usually say this, I don't know how much uh, uh, truth it is. They will have very good voice, melodious voice. They are able to do it. If you are a person jiska gala mesha kharaab rehta hai, uh, you keep on feeling a raspy throat in your voice, all of this, then your throat chakra might be blocked. How many of you feel that you need to activate your throat chakra? So as you can see from the color, the element for throat chakra is space, akash. Okay, space, akash. So this is the chakra that is responsible for it. It's all about the space. It's all about the great big So the color of the day is blue. Nice sky blue. Okay, let's start with the affirmations. It starts with I am a great communicator. I am a great communicator. I use my voice for the greatest good. So in yoga, we believe that uh, a person's life is measured by the number of breaths you take. So it is very Smart to take your breaths carefully. Do not waste your words. It is safe for me. Ask for what I need. I express myself Really in a calm and composed manner. By the way, make sure you have these notes ready. Tomorrow when we have our graduation, we will be needing all this to reflect and see. So, Yes, speech issue is connected to this. This is the, uh, like I'll tell you, all the 16 sounds emerge from this. This is the chakra that is responsible for speech defects, for communication, all of that. I am honest. Myself and others. The answer is always within me. So to clear your chakra, to clear your this chakra, to be more this, the only way, the only solution is to talk more 
to talk the right things, to be not afraid of saying the out chants, to be not afraid of speaking your truth out. Okay. So I am a great communicator. I use my voice for the greatest good. It is safe for me to ask for what I need. I express myself freely in a calm and composed manner. I am honest with myself and others. The answer is always within me. Okay. So for overactive chakra, you can have one more. I know when it is time to listen. And I think before I speak. Many of you know, I know now even in this class will not be speaking very loudly. You will be like, Das Lok Sun Lenge, what if somebody hears me? They will think I am mad. But these are things you are doing for yourself and this little, little actions imbibe your personality. So in the morning when you are brushing your teeth, say them loud. Keeping them in yourself is fine. Your body is listening. But when you scream it out, your body hears it more accurately okay so the sign of this symbol let's make this symbol now this is going to be a little tough first we start with a circle then a triangle around it so the circle represents Full moon purity. The triangle represents that all the knowledge that you have collected is now emanating out, spreading to the world in a clear and nice manner to explain everyone. The color blue itself is all about openness, Space, purity, and wisdom. Okay. Then comes another circle. And beyond this is 16 petals. Okay, so I did not count, so it's not there. So the easiest way to do it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and now divide this. I'm not very good with mandalas, hence if you are into mandalas, you will be able to draw this. 16 vowels in this. So the 16 vowels that we use for are supposed to enlight, enlight your throat to get into it. I will get into it in one uh, in a few minutes. What are those 16 vowels also, I'll tell you. Okay. So each of the petals represents 16 qualities. So they are called colors. They determine the quality of communication. We'll get into this in a while. Next. So like you know, like you know the chakra for the feeling for this is I speak. It is about confronting, clearing, 
and being concise. So for food, now you all will be curious, what is the food we can eat? Nature does not have a lot of blue elements, does not have a lot of blue food because we have a lot of um, sky, the abundant is all the element is so present. We don't have a lot of blue things to eat. But some of the things that we have are, so it is, uh, these are above your chakras also you can use, but we'll use it here also. First thing is blue pea flower. If you can get it somewhere here, it grows very abundantly. If it grows for you, this is something you can do. Red cabbage. Blueberries. Okay. Apart from this, you can have grapes. Eggplant. Bangan. Or any citrus fruits. Citrus fruits are good for throat. Okay, please have water. Please have some water. Okay. The drink you can have is juices today. So since the throat, it is all about the throat. It is all about clearing it. So warm beverages, juices are there. Usually on the fifth day, we are encouraged to take a fast, uh, to take a juice fast and to keep this there. But you don't have to take something drastic as it. You can have a juices glass today or you can have some warm beverage, like a lemonade, simple something. Okay. The essential oils, peppermint, eucalyptus. So wicks and all. The smell of wicks, etc. is good for this throat. So you can smell some wicks today. Clove or tea tree oil. The 16 petals stand for 16 sounds of Sanskrit. We will do it right now. Don't worry. Okay. The mudra for this is Show you this as well. Granthita Mudra or the Gland Mudra. It's an easy Mudra, I'll show you. Okay. And the frequency is 741 hertz higher frequency and the sound is hum 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 okay so today we will be doing a couple of sound exercises all the uh, all the exercises the meditation we do will be about sound, will be about this space because that's the area where we want to do it. The chakra for this is this. So, intertwine your fingers. Right goes into the left. You form this. Okay, close circle with this. You have to place it at your throat. So, just like you would pray, just like you'll do this, in front of your throat, you hold it comfortably. Hum, hum. So before this, some of you were asking me yesterday about the impact of importance of mudra. Can't we just sit and doing it? So we'll do a short exercise, a small exercise to tell you the importance of mudra. Take this, take your palms like this upwards, put them on your uh, knees and I want you to inhale and observe yourself. Just breathe. Take a couple of deep breaths. Observe where are you breathing from? Where is this breathing feeling going? 
and relax. Okay. Now, take these palms downward and I want you to breathe now. There will be a slight difference in the in your breathing. Can anyone tell me what is the slight difference that you would have felt in breathing with these two chakras, with these two? Anybody? You can do this again. Tell me there will be a slight difference. And when I tell you, you will yourself be able to see what is it. So when you are doing it with your eyes, with your hands open, it is the upper part of your chest that is doing most of the breathing. You feel the breathing coming from there, which is why you feel there is more open, more close. And when you do it with this, it is the lower part of your lungs and chest that activates. Try it for yourself once with your palms upwards. And once with the eyes, with the palms backward. So just a small act as this and this can change your entire body's physiology to breathe, to think, to do it, which is why these mudras, these ancient mudras that we do, these hand symbols, all of these are very, very deep rooted into this. Recently, I was trying to put on NLP and chakras together. I realized that this whole act of some people do this while talking. Some people, you know, have a habit of doing this while talking. All of these have mudras. All of these hand movements have detailed, uh, you know, thinking. I will try to share this in the ebook that I'm making for you tomorrow. I'll try to include this, this magic of chakras and what this, this is. If you see some great thinkers, they will also have their, this. So mudras are very important. If you have ever been on Delhi airport, there is a whole, um, what do you say, whole wall of these mudras trying to explain to you what it is there, okay? So that is why whenever we meditate doing this, you can simply sit in a normal yoga mudra, gyan mudra and doing it. But if you enhance it with these small things, you will get us, you will see a more clear change in this, okay? So now let's practice the Sanskrit. There's 16 syllables of Sanskrit we practice to give our throat some closure and to energize it. Have a sip of water. Okay. First is a, 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 a. Okay, the sound a, a. Uh, we'll do each sound for five times. Second, ah, 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 ah. Okay, so each one of these are not just sounds. The way you are emitting them, it is opening up parts of your jaws or parts of your throat, all of it, each sound has a different vibration related to it. So do these sounds loudly. Do not do them silently. See, say it out as loud as you can. Okay, two sounds are done. Third is E. 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 Choti, okay? E. 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 Five times, okay? Next is E. Okay, five times this. E. 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 Okay. Next sound is Choti U. 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 Okay. Ooh. Ooh. 
We'll do all of this in succession and write it then. Let's practice these first. All of these are from Sanskrit. Next is A. 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 Okay. A. 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 Okay. O. 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 Okay, I can see some of your videos and you people are doing this with a small O. Stretch your muscles, okay? The whole point of this is being dramatic and being your this. So maybe you could look at yourself while doing this. It's a form of face yoga is also formed because of from this only. Oh, oh, stretch your muscles as much as you can. Ex uh, exaggerate your expressions. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Next is re, re. Re, 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 re. Okay. Next is iri, 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 iri. Next is iri, iri. Iri, iri, iri. Okay, those have been 14 sounds so far. Apart from this, we have 15 and 16 sounds, which are more of small sounds. So the 15th sound is an, 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 small an, 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 an. I'm, okay, a uh, with a small n on top of it. A, uh, a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. Okay, it's not an a n. It is a, uh, a uh, with a bindu on top. A uh, nasal sound. And the last is a, uh, a h small a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. So the H is a little nasal, it comes from there. Uh, uh. Okay. So I know you will all not remember all this. So yes, I'm giving it to you in writing right now. While you write this, please practice this. While you write these down, please keep uh, pronouncing, do this as well. Uh. You can write this in Hindi if you with in your local language because that's where it will help you there. Uh -huh. A A E E E E Oh, my screen is not visible. One second. Have a sip of water. Your throat must be feeling open or a little choked, depending on it. Actually, con con uh, like if you are doing this correct, you will be feeling very. Your throat will be feeling hydrated, not dehydrated. Actually, if you are doing all of this correctly, in a minute we will be doing the line lion's breath. So we are practicing. We are red getting ready for the sound meditation for all of that. I know the screen is not visible. I'm trying to start it. Just give me one second.
Zoom is having throat chakra issues. It's not being able to communicate properly. Just give me one second. So I, for example, have to talk so much during the classes. I have to do it. So I do these exercises, verbal exercises a lot. I gargle my throat. I'm going for a 10-day uh, silent fast in the next month because I want to take care of my communication. I genuinely feel even though the more I talk, it helps me become a better communicator. It also takes away a lot of energy from me. So that is why I constantly look after my throat chakra a lot because I feel the more words I share with, a lot of my energy goes in. I want to keep my energy with me as well. Okay. So, A, uh, A, ah, E, E, Choti, Badi. Okay. You can write it in your local language that might have a more better way of writing all of this. U. U. A. A. O. A. U. Re. Small re. Re. Okay, then comes I. Re. Okay, 14. 15th and 16th are an okay yeah so the when, when kids we are taught this only these are the basics of all of it that's how they learn how to open their throat chakras and children start talking and doing these exercises, all this syllables, phonetics, all are very important. If you read about this and if you can connect, then you will see all the parts of this can be formed. Have I missed something? No. Wait, let me see. Uh, uh, e, e, u, u, a, i, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13. Okay. Yes. It is small. Iri. 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 So like clarity. Small iri. And like mari. Uh, like uh, rivalry. So two sounds. Iri and iri. So 14, 15, then 16. That are an and ah. Oh, so we'll do this from the beginning again. Take a deep breath. Let's start. Oh, stretch for as much as you can. Oh, ah, e, e. A, 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 U, 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 A, A, I, A, this is the eighth sound, A, ninth is O, 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 tenth is O, eleventh is Re, 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 
ट्वेल्थ इज रीन इरी 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 फोर्टीन इरी ओके फिफ्टीन अ अ अ अ सिक्सटीन अ अ अ ओके दैट्स योर साउंड ऑफ दिस ओके सो नाउ टेक अ ब्रेथ टेक टू मिनट्स टू कैच योर ब्रेथ हैव अ सिप ऑफ वाटर ओके द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज वी विल बी डूइंग to get of this throat so if you can if you understand all of this we have been doing all the other chakras need a lot of mind simulation they need a lot of mind get into your energy this chakra this throat chakra can be activated using physical vibrations using physical all of this so this chakra is comparatively little easier to get there so what it means is getting confidence getting your voice back is easier than you think you will feel slightly warm slightly hot so much thoughts are so much stress you are putting to your throat today but just like it happens in a spa session it happens in a massage first it gets disturbing and then second it will get better so if you are feeling any changes in your throat pay attention to it after this you can have some warm water you can have some of this you'll get better okay So now I'm going to teach you a lion's breath. Now this lion's breath is so amazing; it can help you. Currently, we have been doing this with Niranjan to show improvement in his breathing, in his yoga. This is also a great exercise for your migraine, for your focus, for your general things. So I'm going to teach you this lion's breath, and it is absolutely there. So by the way, if you have AC in your room turned on, I I would suggest that you turn it off for now. I don't want to be. I don't want you to be extremely cold while doing this. Okay. So seat yourself comfortably. I hope you people are sitting on your floor. Sit cross legged. Okay. So lean a little forward. Lean a little forward, and put your hands on your like this. Put your hands on your elbows. Lean a little forward. Yeah, normally you would be sitting like this. For this, lean a little forward, comfortably forward. Okay. Spread the fingers as wide as possible. Yoga is inspired a lot by animal poses, right? So animals, how would they do their palms on their knees, slightly forward. Inhale through your nose. and as you exhale you have to open your mouth and stick your tongue out and you have to make a noise that carries your breath from the root to outside it should be ha ha okay it should come from your entire breath uh, stomach it should be a loud ha okay you will feel some constriction in your throat you will feel it so first we'll do a light one inhale relax okay next round inhale okay it's as if the sound is coming from inside and you are escaping it through this laugh breath the focus on saying the sound ha and it will come out okay so this called the simha pranayam the lion's breath or all of it okay get the tongue as out as possible and focus on just one point out on um, in your screen or anything just focus on one point inhale relax we'll do this three more times inhale
Inhale. Relax. Last time. Inhale. Gently relax. I want you to feel what is happening in your body right now. Keep your eyes closed. Say this thought to yourself. My throat chakra is balanced. I am a good communicator. I trust my voice. I trust my thoughts. Keep your eyes closed and just look inwardly at what is happening in your body right now. What are the changes you feel? And when you are ready, you can open your eyes. Gently give it a little light massage. Have a sip of water. How many of you can feel your throat little opened up already? It will pain a little bit. After this, just have a warm beverage. Everything will be okay. We are doing harsh exercises now. We are doing it, activating it will be there. How many of you feel a slight change in your throat? A vibration in your throat. If you are having a cold, this is actually going to be very effective for you. Nice one, see. So gradually when you do this practice, you this, this time it was all about the physical part. But gradually when, we'll do, when you do the practice, you will start having this thought also. Like when I do this, when I inhale and... <sighs> I have this constant thought in my mind that I'm letting go of the things inside me. All the un all the bottled emotions that I don't express, all the things that are killing me from inside, those things I say that, you know, it is, uh, uh, I'm throwing it out. You might feel a little sensation. You are seeing this, this, I like I said, all the others one are simulated by mind. We had to meditate. This one has been done physically this, but it will show better results. Okay, but don't be afraid of this. Yeah, so if you do Sadhguru Simakriya, you will know that is even more uh, action-oriented. I tried to do a milder version. Okay, so Sukhvendar, so if you're feeling nothing, just do it later after taking a gargle or doing this. Maybe the sound you did, it was not escaped. Many of you are holding back your practice, thinking that somebody will think I'm gone mad and all this. So do it again. Okay, I'm glad you are seeing the changes. So now we will do another version of sound meditation. This time we will focus on three different sounds. Okay, sound is this energy that we are going to dispel today. The first part, the it is based on the Sanskrit words that we have done. Ah. Okay, the second sound, ah, that we learned. This has to come from your abdomen, from your stomach, from your stomach. So, ah, the sound will come from your stomach. We we'll slightly change the sound and it will be, ooh. So, ooh, you will do it from your chest. Okay. And the third sound will be no. So don't open your mouth. Keep your mouth closed and feel the vibration of no inside. So mm. okay. So together you are creating the universal sound, the greatest sound that exists. Aum. So practice this for a little while and when you get the sound correct, like ah is coming from your stomach. Ooh. 
coming from your chest. Coming from your mouth. Comment in Aum. Practice it for a while. I want to understand how many of you are getting it correct. Because this too will take practice. A comes from your abdomen. A. Comes from slightly above in your chest area in this. More will escape from this. From your lips. So say A and U differently and you say A and U and you will see the difference. U comes from this region. A comes from a deeper abdomen region. A. So then keep your eyes, keep your mouth closed. I have told in the beginning, Ashwara, maybe you missed that part. Chakra blocked is you're not good at communication. If you are unable to express your opinions, if you are unable to speak out clearly your truth, you find yourself lying a lot, that means your chakra is not balanced. Okay? So start with ah, ooh, mm. Practice two, three times, couple of two, three times. Do it, you will get this sound. And once you do, comment ah, ooh, in the chat. So then we can start. Those who are getting it correct, you can start practicing. Great. Most of you are getting this and now you will also appreciate the, why you mostly heard of it, Aum is the first sound that came to us. Om is the first sound that appeared. This is the significance of it. It's an energy. It's a vibration. It's a motion in your body that you are creating. So it's like with this mantra, with this mode, you will be having a set of extra vacuum cleaners activating inside your body. So from the moment you start chanting this, your body gets on a clearing mode. It gets you in this cleaning, detoxing mode and you are taking out all the bad things in your life outside with this. So first, I will, we will practice the breath together for a couple of minutes. Then I will play the high frequency sound and you can hear and keep practicing. We'll do this minimum 10 times. Okay. So you can have a sip of water because you're going to do this. It will take time. Let's do this. All right. Close your eyes. First, take a gentle breath, inhale. Exhale from the mouth. Let your body relax. Be as comfortable as possible. If you are able to do this, use the throat chakra mudra that I mentioned and put it on your throat. You can do this for as long as you can. If you feel tired, if you feel tired during the meditation, you can let these hands go and just put them normally on your knees. But doing this will make it more effective. Okay, inhale once more. Inhale. One deep inhale. Now from the bottom of your abdomen, ah, once more, ah, keep your eyes closed. First inhale, while exhaling, take the sound out. So inhale again. Ah. 
Ah. Very good. This time when we inhale, we'll do the sound boom coming from your chest. So inhale. Ooh. Stretch the woo for as long as you can. It could be shorter than me, it could be longer than me. Go with your own pace. Inhale. Ooh. Inhale. Ooh. Once more, inhale. Breathe normally. This time when we inhale, we will exhale the sound of mm. Inhale. Mm. Relax your body. You can keep your hands down on your knees. Relax it. Let the body relax. Feel what is happening in your body right now. Where is the energy happening from? What are the changes you feel? Even if it is minute, focus on those changes. We will be doing this cycle once more. Once, keep your eyes closed. Once, we will be doing this in our, uh, we will be doing this with me, chanting with me. And after this, I will play the music and you will have to chant on your own. So five breaths is what we will be practicing with. Okay. So close your eyes. Keep your back straight. Maybe you can hold your hands in the mudra on your throat. Let's start. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Now we focus on the chest region. So it will we inhale and oh, so inhale, 
Finally, do the mer sound. Inhale once more. Can lower your hands for a while. Feel the changes in your body. So I will be playing some high frequency music for you. Keep your eyes closed. This time do the chanting on your own. First do a cycle of five five breaths each. So five ha, ah, five mu, mm, five mu. Mm. Then I stop them. Then I pause. Then start again. Ah. Mm -hmm. So two cycles of five five ah mm -hmm, you have to do. And after that, I will make you sit in silence to see what is happening in your body to observe your changes. Okay. Right now, also keep your eyes closed and feel the changes that are happening. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm. okay. Your eyes closed. Just hear the music. Focus on your breath. You can start whenever you are ready with your breathing. Um.
one round of aum and five times of aum each take two gentle breaths in between and do another cycle of aum If you're finished with your chants, just remain seated with your eyes closed. Focus on the changes that are happening in your body. If you feel you can do another round, just feel the changes that are happening. One last time, say to your mind, say to your entire body, I am a clear, concise and confident person. I am very good at communicating. I express myself well. I am truthful, honest and confident. Let this general feeling of wellness float inside you. Let this general thought of being confident, of being good at expressing yourself flow through your body. And when you are ready, rub your palms, put them over your throat first, Thank it. Then put it over your abdomen where the sound came from. Put it over your chest or throat. All over your body. And finally over your eyes. Generate heat. Don't do this half-heartedly. Generate a lot of heat such that the heat is actually felt. Don't do half-heartedly, just rub it and doing it. Do it till it generates heat. Rub them furiously. And then put it over your eyes. Gently open your eyes. Anybody wants to share what they felt into this, what they are going through right now? Don't worry, I'm going to make all of you share, but you can unmute and tell us what you felt. What are the changes you are feeling? Ma'am, I think my throat has got cleared. I was, having lot of, I was having a lot of cough, but it has ultimately got cleared. Wow. Do this. I told you, you know, it's a very good uh, exercise for cough, for cold, even for Nirantra. Do the lion's breath also a couple of times. It will really work. Ma'am, what I thyroid like also this works? Sorry? For thyroid? Yeah, thyroid glands are this only, right? So it works with this. 
thyroid glands and nearby it's very good for thyroid okay thank you ma'am i feel more lighter in my throat in um, at my chest in my abdominal superb so just the, what i want all of you to take back from today is just the simple sounds the sounds that you are running over your body can cause so much change into yourself so today's journaling prompt is very simple it is you have to recap all five days so i want you to because tomorrow is the last class and when you come i want you to have doubts i want you to be there and once something happens to us we forget it so to make sure you don't forget all the things that you have learned here today's prompt and this is mandatory i want you to share it on the group is what have you learned what all have you learned in this one week which by your favorite practices and what screen you... is not screen is visible not for me okay what did you learn about yourself Okay, what are those things you learn? Maybe you realize that you want to be better at communication. Maybe you realize that your ambition, your uh, confidence at your solar plexus is low. Maybe you realize your sacral chakra is too open. Okay, ma'am, yeah. uh, can you show me the uh, mudra again, please? I'll show it to you in the after this. What did you learn about yourself? what are the practices you are going to follow after this many of the women from last times uh, summit tells me that they still follow the food part that they enjoy the meals so they color coordinate their meals and once a day they eat this so this is your prompt for today even if you are having trouble sharing the other this this should be very clear for you all to do and of course feel confident in what you say so many of you have still not shared anything on the group feeling shy feeling under confident that whether i should do this what if somebody says after this exercise at least you should feel confident enough to do this get in there okay. uh ma'am we'll do the last two chakras tomorrow we will not be covering the last two chakras i'll be telling you a little brief about it but we will not be doing it I already you are seeing with these five simple chakras only some of you are getting scared that this is happening to me that is happening to me the last two are very dangerous if not done appropriately if not done correctly in supervision you can have extreme hallucinations you can feel weak all of those things can happen so i am not going to help you get into there so ma'am you take this uh, last two chakras in any other workshop i prefer to do it offline but tomorrow i'll tell you uh, what you can do to get in more of this sure thank you okay we do have a next level i'll talk about that divya later so the mudra is like this okay so the mudra kaun cross kyu rehte ha okay and gap should be between your palms yeah just like you'll pray normally that you'll pray to somebody if you're normally praying how will you do it it's simple like this okay all right then have a great day i'm waiting for you to share your experiences to share your uh, day with me every day at the end of the day i read all of you what you have gone through what you've done it's an absolute pleasure ma'am oh, one more thing ma'am shiva is the word shiva 
सदा शिव हुज द गॉड सदा शिव इज द मोस्ट प्योर मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ शिव द मोस्ट सर्टल बॉडी ऑफ हिम बट इट इज सदा शिव हु इज द गॉड ऑफ दिस चक्र सो इफ यू रीड अबाउट इट सदा शिव इज द फॉर्म ऑफ शिव बट द मोर प्योर और द मोर मेडिटेटिव पार्ट ऑफ हिम मैम आई हैव लूज मोशन सो इज इज रिलेटेड टू uh chakra meditation or something no i'm sorry this is i don't think so it has anything to do with this it might be because of diet and all you are anyways doing very light practices here these are not detailed practices that will alter a change in your body like that must be because of the food i'm sorry i just want to let you know here Am I audible? Yeah, you are audible. 